guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well wherever you are. Today in Newcastle, it is absolutely glorious. It is so sunny. And I just wanted to say, happy Valentine's Day! You might be thinking, hey Sarah, it's a bit late for the Valentine's Day launch for Lush. And you'd be right. I did actually record this video when I went to edit it. It was broken. It was like all like glitchy. Um, and I did some really cool makeup as well. <laughs> Just really annoying. But um, I'm going to re record it and show you everything that I got. And that is part of the Valentine's Day 2022 collection and the Luna uh, collection as well. So if you like the sound of that, then let's jump in. Let's jump in. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is the Luna Collection. It is short but sweet and the stuff this year from the Luna Collection is absolutely stunning. So the first thing I want to show you is the Lucky Tiger bath bomb. This is unreal. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the ingredients on the screen for every single thing um, because I can't remember every single one. But for this one, this is it here, you've got this gorgeous, I'm going to let you zoom in, this gorgeous golden tiger with his hand sprayed luster and it smells incredible. Fans of Karma are gonna really love this. It has a big Karma nod to it, if it's not already actually Karma scented. It has dark Sumatran patchouli in there. You've got, um, I think you've got some orange. You've got lavender oil. It's not exactly the same as Karma off the top of my head, but it has nods. It actually reminds me a lot of the uh, SOS orangutan soap. I'll put a little, little picture here. It does really smell like Karma. Is it Karma? I don't know. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, <laughs> but I do, I've, I, I don't feel like it's identical. I feel like it's got something else to it, but it is absolutely beautiful. It turns the bath bright orange with the, this nice gold luster running through it. And if I haven't already said, it is six pounds for this bath bomb. It's quite heavy. It's quite a heavy little, little fella. I'm going to pop this over here. Then the last thing from the Luna collection is this stunning knot wrap. Um, which I think it's called like Luna Tiger, something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head. This is absolutely gorgeous. I'm doing a really poor job of showing it off to everyone. You've got this stunning traditional looking tiger on the back of a lovely dark blue background with some moons. And I think these are flowers and not fans. I'm not too sure. It's absolutely gorgeous. This was designed in house. This was very much inspired by traditional tattoos. So I'm gonna put that there. And that is six pounds. It's made from any Indian organic cotton. It is beautiful. It is my, I think my favorite knot wrap of uh, the year so far. I know we've only just got, in, got into 2022, but you know, start strong. So now we're going to dive straight into the 2022 Valentine's Day collection. So I'm going to show you all the bath range, everything that comes with it. So are you excited? I know I am. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the one that's on everybody's lips and minds, and that is the big aubergine bath bomb. Look at the size of this. It's seven and a half inches. It's freaking massive. It's almost as big as my head. Yeah, it smells absolutely amazing. It is a 29 High Street scent. So very effervescent, very sherbet-y, but like not sherbet dip. It's just very, it's just a beautiful fizzy smell. And it kind of makes your mouth water. And what the 29 High Street smell is supposed to be is like, you know, that smell of lush. You know, like when you when you know that you're next to one and you can kind of smell it, that is what that scent is supposed to be like. Every single thing uh, from a lush shop in a bottle, and I really really love the smell of this. It is green and purple on the outside, and then it's got this bright turquoise on the inside, so it creates some amazing bath art. Now I've obviously not tried it yet because it's here in my hands, but um, my friends at work they have tried this, and there was actually a broken one, so they each got a half, and they said just with that half, the bath art and the glitter was incredible. So I think I'm gonna snap this in half and have it over two baths. This one is 10 pounds and I literally can't wait to use it. This was the same design as like the OG aubergine bath bomb, which was a lot smaller. I wish I had two to compare. I know some Lush accounts out there have both. So if you are one of those accounts, please put your name down below and I will tag you in my description box to, for people to go check out the size difference. It's seven and a half inches. It's massive, absolutely massive. Then we've got a returner, but with a facelift. We have Lovebug. 
I absolutely love the design of this one this year. It's so cute. We've got a little beetle bug uh, car. I'm just crumbing everywhere. This is the same smell as last year's Love Boat, so that lovely sherbetty, like sweet shop sort of a smell. It has the pink and the yellow, actually I don't know why I'm putting this back in here, it has the pink and the yellow and the blue colour scheme, so it creates this beautiful like kind of pastel rainbow colour, all that. It's really slow fizz, it's really foamy, so if you like to create your bath art, and this is me drawing bath art in the bath, um, in your bath, then this is amazing. You could take some really fantastic pictures with this. And I don't know if you have ever done this, but you can draw obviously patterns with your bath art. If you take a bit of kitchen towel, and just gently place it over the top, it will create a picture um, of what you've drawn in the bath. And if you're very careful and you put it like on your draining board to dry overnight, then you could have some cute wall art. This is quite fun to do with kids. And then they could have something that you can put in their room, it makes their room smell nice. And then after a couple of weeks, you can maybe do it with a different bath bomb. And it's just a bit of fun. A bit more interactive than just with your bath bombs. This turns a bath like a dark purple with like loads and loads of sparkles. It's really good. There's a lot of sparkles in Valentine's Day this year, which I really like. I love a bit of glitter. And this one is five pounds. It's really heavy. I actually feel like it's bigger than Love Boat. I don't I don't know about anybody else. Like it feels a bit more weighty. That might just be me. And we've got a new bath bomb this year, which I have been, as soon as I knew that this was coming out, I'm so excited for it. This is Mr. Lobba Lobba, and you've got a really cute little lobster bath bomb. This smells amazing. So this is supposed to be the same smell as Pink Fun. I think it has nods to You Shall Go To The Ball, or if you like You Shall Go To The Ball, you will love the smell of this. Um, it's really sweet, there's loads of tonka in this, benzoin resinoid. It actually has little candy hearts on there. If you like the old school think pink with all the candy hearts, it's the same sort of a thing there. It also has sodium alginate um, in here, so it creates a really thick, foamy bubble on the top. Not like a slimy jelly bomb, but like a really luxurious foam, and it turns the bath this beautiful kind of red pink. It's lovely. And I'm really, really excited about that. And that's £3.50. I can't wait to get him in the bath. He's so cute. I, I would just love that as like a little plushie. He's so cute. I love it. Okay, and then the last new um, bath thing is Kim the Carrot. So this is inspired by your wonky veg. You know, like when you get a carrot, if you if you ever if you're in the UK, you can get from certain supermarkets like um, Morrison's and things like that. You can get something called Wonky Veg, and sometimes you get uh, veggies with certain appendages. It's always a bit of a laugh. Or something like when you get a potato and it has a big nose, things like that. So this is what Kim the Carrot is inspired by. I also think like Kim maybe has some little curves like Kim Kardashian, but this smells really good. It always feels a little bit wrong because I'm like sniffing a. Um, but it smells really good. So it's it's kind of um, inspired by, you know when you go to the corner shop and you get those little candy sticks as a kid? So it's supposed to smell just like that. It does have nods to creamy candy, definitely. Like when you smell the, the first smell in there, you're like, oh my God, that's creamy candy. But it has ginger in there. Not like as in spicy ginger where it overtakes it. It just adds like a warmth and a depth to it. It's really lovely. I would get two good baths out of this. It's six pounds and it smells really bloody good. Now we're gonna move on to kind of shower and miscellaneous. Uh, I'm gonna do the, the really fun, cool new thing now. I'm gonna apologize in advance because obviously I had demoed all of this um, in the video that I recorded, so it's not as beautiful as what it could look. I'm gonna show you the packet first. This is the Hot Lips Lip Mask and Lip Scrub. So it's three pounds and it comes in this beautiful little envelope. Um, mine's on the on a piece of on a ballistic bag at the moment, and I'll show you that in a second. But in here, you've got calendula, petal and hibiscus flower infusion, glycerin, you've got sorbitol, you've got bamboo stem extract, carrageenan extract, divana oil, lime oil, almond essential oil, um, and you've got like a little bit of flavoring in there as well. So, you've gotta keep this in the, fr in the fridge. You gotta keep this in the fridge. Thinking like your cucumber iPads and your fresh face masks. This is technically like a one use 
affair like you can use it once and then you, you're good to go um and this was made by the inventors as kind of like a alternative to those hydrogel lip masks now i don't know if anyone's seen my glossy box unboxing i will try and find it for the steve laurent lip mask or is it the empties and then you might be able to see all the packaging but the steve laurent lip hydrogel mask that i got had a foil wrapper and a tray and I think it had two outers like a, a protector that's a lot of packaging and so the inventor for this I think it was Gary when he saw that and thought that's such a cool idea but it's so wasteful he decided to do his own version so this is what it looks like I again I apologize because I have ripped a bit off the side but this is it here this is the lip mask I'm gonna pop it on my lips it smells so good so you do it on like this mm -hmm. I do feel like I look a little bit like Marilyn Manson <laughs> with these big lips. Um, but you would essentially leave it on your lips to do its thing. And then when you're happy with how long you've had it on for, I would say for a couple of minutes. And then you literally, I'm going to rip a bit off to show you, but you would then rub this into your lips. In fact, we'll do it on here. We'll just, we'll go for it. So you rub the mask in. I actually prefer... I'm just going to rip a bit off. I think it's easier to rip a bit off. Um, but then you would just literally rub it in here onto your lips. Now this has, you do have to do it quite firmly. That's why I think it's better to rip a bit off. Um, but it's got the ground bamboo stem in there. And that is going to very gently exfoliate your lips. A lot more gently than say um, your lip scrubs. And then that's what it looks like. I take off the, the big bits that are left over. And what you can do is you can either use a warm damp flannel to remove the exfoliation or you can lick it and it tastes really nice it tastes so yummy i oh my god i would love it if this oh that's so free would come out as like a lip scrub it's not the same as like cherry lip scrub um it tastes definitely like different but i would love it if it came out as a lip scrub if it came out in some other smells like the smell is really good like even as like a lip balm that would be amazing we've not seen any new lip balms for a while they've got rid of whip whip stick it'd be nice to see a new lip balm so like a cherry cherry kind of bakewell flavored lip balm would be unreal um, and literally you just keep these in the fridge it's like i say it does say one use i would not use it more than twice obviously with hydrogels they're supposed to be used once and you chuck them away i would no more than use it twice um and you, these keep fresh for three weeks so if you know you've got a big event coming up grab one pop it in your fridge until you need to go use it but they're really fun they're only three pounds that's steve laurent lip mask i keep going on about it because it's the only hydrogel lip mask that i've really ever used i think that was five pounds for one and the packaging was incredible it was dry it didn't really have much kind of anything about it at least with this you can kind of exfoliate the lips as well and you've got the almond oil and um, so it's just a bit interesting and a bit different something a bit fun to uh, to use so that is that um, let me know what you think of the lip mask down below my hand this is this is on is incredibly smooth now and you guys know how I feel about bamboo stem I love bamboo stem now we're going to move on to the shower products. I'm very excited to use both. So the first one is the I Can Resist Everything But Temptation Shower Gel. It says, I wanted to eat of the fruit of all the trees in the garden of the world. And so indeed I went out and so I lived. Oscar Wilde. So this name is inspired by Oscar Wilde. It is a lovely thick shower gel. And it smells so good, like fresh apples. And it is the same smell as the Apple Crumble Bubble Rune, which is a lovely, red, really crisp red apple bubble bath um, that Lush do. And it just smells really, really good. And the ingredients in here are cinnamon stick, red rose petals, and ginseng infusion. You have got your glycerin, organic apple juice, myrrh resinoid, organic flower absolute, cinnamon leaf oil, apple cider vinegar and lactic acid this is really going to brighten the skin it is really fresh that kind of the cinnamon adds a bit of warmth to it but it's not overpowering 
I really, really, really can't wait to use this in a really hot, steamy shower. I, I, I can just imagine the smell getting right into my nose. Um, it is seven pounds for a 100 gram bottle, 14 pounds for a medium, and then 23 for a large. If I like this, I will more than likely get a large, though I do aesthetically wise love the mediums. I don't know about anybody else. We were having this conversation at work, um, how some people really like the large bottles for their aesthetic uh, collection, but I like the mediums because I, I like the like the, the size of them and they go well with the kitchen boxes as well. But yes, that is that. Then the last thing from the shower range is the Strawberry Heart Shower Jelly. And let me tell you, when I opened up this pot lid, <laughs> the whole, <laughs> like me and my friends, everyone just was like, because it smells so good. It literally smells like, like Robertson's fruit jelly pots or strawberry laces. If you love strawberry scented things, Strawberry Heart, is for you. Now, maybe because the lighting's a bit better, I might be able to get a better picture, close-up of the jelly because this is an anatomical heart. No, you can't see. I'm going to have to put a picture up. The When I tried the last time, it was a really, oh God, it smells so good, really bad um, me holding it like this. It's it is so cute. You've got the tubes for the heart pumping in the blood and all that jazz. It's really, really cool. And it's nice, you know, on Valentine's Day that you're giving someone literally your heart in a gift. I'm gonna go wash my hands, be right back. Okay, I am back and I've washed my hands and oh my God, it smells so strong. I just wanna say as well about smelling strong. I know of people who have used this so far and have said that this, this shower gel really lingers on the skin. So if you do like a long lasting scent, I think both of these will do really well for lasting on the skin. Sometimes not every smell sticks to my skin. So I have to double up on the shower gel. Um, so I'm really excited to try this to see how well it lingers on the skin. But so far my hands smell incredible. Here is a picture of what it actually looks like and my beautiful hand modeling <laughs> that you'll see there. But what is inside of this, I hear you ask. Glycerin, you've got carrageen extract, anything with that's wibbly and wobbly, like jelly fired, like the lip mask, eye pads, shower jellies. They are made from carrageenan, which is seaweed, so it's vegan, uh, no kind of animal products in there to make it all jelly fired. You've got fair trade organic aloe vera gel, fresh strawberry juice, Sicilian lemon oil, lime oil, hobwood oil, jasmine absolute. You wouldn't think there's jasmine in there. There's nothing too floral. It is so strawberry fine. It smells so good and it's five pounds for the pot. And don't forget, obviously, bring back your empties and you get 50 pence off at the till uh, for every empty that you bring in. And then last but not least, we have got knot wraps. So I only took one of the three knot wraps um, home with me from the Valentine's Day collection. This was my favorite and it's so cute. This is called Valentine's Day Buds. And it's adorable. I'm going to come in so you can kind of see some of the patterns. I love the little peach here. Yeah? This little peach here. Yeah? That's kissing. And he's got a little cheeky bum. That's just absolutely... It's just so cute. And this was £5. It's made from a recycled plastic bottle. A lot of the um, new knot wraps have cute little hidden messages. So it says, you're a gift. Um, and speaking of hidden messages, at the end, I'm going to reveal the hidden messages behind here because I know people have been asking for them. So I like the cute little messages that are on the new knot wraps now. This is a small one, so this would be really good like if you've got a pet and you can tie it around like a little bandana. Um, I'm gonna ask my mom to make some scrunchies out of this one. Then the next one we have in is spoons. This is made from Fairly Trader Indian Organic Cotton. It is six pounds. It is a larger uh, knot wrap and it has ladles and different types of spoons in, which is really cute because obviously, Spooning, it leads to forking apparently. No, I'm only joking. But it's really cute for Valentine's Day and I just think it's, it's nice and colorful, very bright with the pinks and the blues and the yellows and things like that. Then the last one we have in is Love Knots. And I think these are Welsh Love Knots. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. This is a smaller knot wrap and it's made from a recycled bottle. And this is five pounds and it's blue and red. It's very jazzy. I would actually, that would be quite nice big and then you could make a cushion out of it. I do like this one idea as a cushion or a lovely wall hanging but that is all the knot wraps we do have a locked of paper which is two pounds and this is date night and you have the like little the little cute hearts if you remember from last valentine's day that repeated on some gifts and um, the hearts are back and they're all having cute little dates it's just really really sweet and this is a nice way to wrap up a gift obviously knot wraps you can we all know about knot wraps and, and gifting and things like that but if you just wanted to buy one little treat 
for your Valentine's. You can get that wrapped up at the till with a gift tag for £2 plus whatever bath bomb you buy. I will say round bath bombs going better. It's really, really sweet and I love it. And now, gifts. Um, I'm probably going to get these in the wrong order in prices. Uh, I normally have to start from small to large, so do forgive me if I get these the wrong way around. Um, but the first one we have is Love Trip. This is a really sweet little box, really colourful. The boxes this year are stunning for Valentine's Day. I really, really like them. This is £12. If I get this wrong, I do apologise, I'll put the right price down here. And in here you have a Love Bug bath bomb and a Mr. Lobba Lobba. It's just really cute and it's a nice alternative to, say, Bath Art, the gift. So if you want to buy someone who's just getting into Lush and they've already tried Dragon's Egg and Into Galactic and you want to get them something new, it's around about the same price. It's 11 or 12 pounds. And yeah, I think it's 11 pounds actually. And it's got two new bath bombs in that they might not have tried. Then you've got a Sweet Temptation. Mm -hmm. And this is a beautiful metallic apple red gift set with lots of lovely bright green leaves all over it. In there you get a 100 gram bottle of the Temptation shower gel and a, I think it's about a 120 gram pot of the orange body scrub. This body scrub and the shower gel would go so well together, you'd be like a fruity cocktail. Smells amazing. This is perfect for someone that you want to do a lovely little gift with, um, but they don't have a shower. And that is, I think, £15. And then the next one we have is True Romance. I love this artwork. This artwork is incredible with that lovely like, kind of eye on the front. It's really fresh and modern. How nice would that be as a knot wrap? How low I would snap it up. Like a nice cotton one absolutely stunning. So in here you get a black rose bath bomb, a titsy topsy bath bomb and a sex bomb bath bomb and that is £16. So very like kind of love themed, floral themed. It's really really sweet and I love it. Okay so the next thing is and these two I think are some of my favourite gifts and the two that are coming up now are the first time that we will see swag inside a gift set. So the next one is Self Love Club. It's £25 and you've got, it's a sliding drawer. Um, so you can definitely add some extras in. So that was my alarm. So you can definitely add some extras in here as well. So in here you have got a groovy kind of love bath bomb, a Miss a Lobba Lobba bath bomb. You've got a unicorn horn bubble bar, a little throwback to Valentine's Day past, and a rainbow bubble bar. These are all full size items along with four badges. And these badges, I'm just having a little look, are all like kind of like CEO of bathing. You've got a cute little broccoli on there. Like it's, they're really fun. They're not enamel pins, but they are kind of um, pin, like um, badges that you kind of open up and then slot on. And these are nice sizes. They are about this big. So they're good sizes and it's 25 pounds. And this is really nice. It's a really colorful box. Um, you've kind of got, um, it looks like there's like stickers all over it, the box. It's really, really fun. It doesn't look too Valentine Daisy. So if you did want to give it to someone for like their birthday or like a little thank you gift, you absolutely could. But it's a really fun one and it's a very sweet, fun rainbow kind of a set. It's really, really, I really like this one. And then my actual favourite one, I just love the box. And it kind of has like a little nod to this knot wrap. It's get that fruity feeling. It's £30. It's a nice square box. And it's, it is really fruity. There's a lot of um, kind of fruit and veg themed in here. So in here you get a peachy bath bomb, a Kim the Carrot bubble bar, you get a 100 gram bottle of the Temptation Apple Shower Gel, you get a watermelon sugar lip scrub, so it's the first gift set that we've seen with the lip scrub in, and you get two sheets of like kind of fruity veg fruit and vegetable cute like um, stickers, which I just think is absolutely adorable. It's a, it's quite a, a good mixture of someone who doesn't want all bath stuff they want a mixture of everything so it's a nice little pamper um, and it's all kind of fruit and vegetable themed and I really like this one the self love club and the feeling fruity get that fruity feeling are both my favorite boxes for Valentine's Day though sweet temptation with that metallic apple red is coming up close and then last but not least we have lots of love it's 45 pounds so this is like the showstopper Valentine's Day gift it is pink with lots of pink and gold hearts all over it big thick pink satin ribbon it's very decadent it's bloody heavy I was putting them out and I was like Whoa, this feels substantial if you want to kind of show off and show someone how much you care about them this is the one 
so it's very floral themed you've got a sex bomb bath bomb a tissy totsy bath bomb you've got something a bit more uh, sweet shoppy you've got the groovy kind of love bath bomb You've also got our lovely relaxing a French kiss, which makes sense because it's Valentine's Day bubble bar. You've got a 100 gram bottle of the Temptation shower gel, a slice of the New Rose soap, which smells like softy. Oh, I totally forgot about the New Rose soap. It's because I didn't get it. I'm so sorry. I'll talk about that in a second. Whoopsies. And you get a 45 gram pot of the Rose Argan body conditioner. So it's very floral which makes sense again for Valentine's Day, giving roses and flowers and things like that. But it's really pampering and luxurious. So if you are wanting to treat someone, it's a really, really lovely gift. And like I say, it feels so heavy feels heavy, it feels like you put thought into it. And then last but not least, we've got the New Rose Soap. This is seven pounds, I think a slice. I don't think it's 100 grams. And it's got this beautiful, it's like a, a donut, like the old Karma style. And it's pink, and it's got these lovely, beautiful floral rose decorations on the top. And it's just lovely and stunning, and it's a very heady floral smell. I'm gonna put the ingredients here, but off the top of my head, I think it's got like ylang ylang in there, rose absolute, and it's the same smell as softy. And if I recall correctly, softy um, is also this shares its scent with the Love Me Do bath bomb from I think either last Valentine's or 2020 Valentine's. So if you love that red uh, bath bomb wrapped in muslin cloth, then you're gonna love this soap. But that is everything. That is all of the Valentine's Day collection. I'm going to peel behind to see what the stickers say. But let me know what you think of the Valentine's Day collection. What is your favourite? What are you going to get? Ooh, it's so the behind here it says, don't bite the apple. Is that another Oscar Wilde reference? I'm not clued up on my literature, I must say. On the strawberry heart it says, bloody hell. <laughs> so that is everything let me know what you think down below if you like this video give it a little thumbs up and if you really liked it you can subscribe to the channel we are on our way to 2500 subscribers uh, ring the notification bell so you get notified of the videos yeah okay well i'll see you next video bye